Good afternoon, uh, uh, members of the press. First and foremost, let me apologize that I'm not very well. I've had the flu for the past three, four days. I was supposed to have been at Inchuara, the Christian ceremony. But I've had the flu for the past three, four days. Fortunately, yesterday I called uh, some people to come and uh, test me for COVID and it came out uh, negative. And uh, I just have this uh, common cold. And I've just been in, in bed, uh, taking a rest for the past uh, four days. But I'm compelled to call this uh, press briefing because of what has happened today concerning honor and MVP. Uh, in Kauma. Where I come from, where I come from, they say, who should to kill them one way, no work way, who popa. Who should to kill them one way, no work way, who popa. And also where I come from, in Bemba we say, in Bemba we say, Limbule Sansa, Tadila Mela Mishima. Limbula Isansa, Tadila Mela Mishima. If you understand the two terminologies, Bemba ideons that are used, you realize that it is important for me to talk about this issue urgently and not to wait. Uh, for two or three days. President Haka in the Ichile Mandai, while in opposition and while in an alliance, did condemn the arrests of people that you even know that they've not committed an offense, but just to arrest them and detain them as a way of punishing them. We did agree at so many fora with President Agaimbe Ichilema that once we come into office, once we come into power, those arrests will be a thing of the past. And the history tells us the whole purpose of history is to learn good practices and discuss, discard bad practices. You make reference to history in order for you to learn good practices and discard bad practices. My dear brother H.H. and I condemned in all and strongest terms this kind of arrests. I remember very well when I went to visit him at Mukoveko when he was incarcerated for over three months over that Hmong incident, which everybody, including myself, knew that what was committed in Hmong was a mere traffic offense. But because they wanted to detain HH for longer than necessary, in order to punish him, he was charged with, uh, with uh, treason. Knowing for sure that when you charge somebody with treason, there is no bail. It's an unbearable offense. But because someone, somewhere, the system felt that they needed to detain him for a longer period, when they knew that the man had not committed treason and indeed he was detained for close to three months. I condemned that arrest in all and strongest terms because HH is human as much as I am. Family man with children, with a wife, who also were affected very badly. It is trauma 
very serious trauma that the family went through, family of HH, when he was arrested and put in Mokoreko for three months. As if that is not enough, Comrade Mwarite was arrested and charged with an offense of uh, aggravated robbery, which we all knew that aggravated robbery is a non bailable offense. Together with the current Copper Belt Minister, Honorable Matambo, Elisha Matambo, my neighbor here in Wanshe, they were arrested, charged with an offense that they never committed. They stayed for one year in prison. One year in prison. At the end of it all, they were acquitted. Because they did not commit that offense. But because they wanted to detain them for no, longer than necessary, they came up with an offense of aggravated robbery. Comrade and honorable friend, my brother-in-law, Gary Como was accused of murder during the Livingstone by election. My dear brother was charged with murder, was detained until a no, no prosecutor was entered after a few months of spending in prison. Mrs. Mukuni and the three others equally were detained for close to two months for an offense that they never committed. Today we are told that Mrs. Mukuni and the three others have been compensated to the tune of 2.5 billion with 400,000 each as legal fees. The question is, who is going to take up this bill of the 2.5 million plus 400,000 legal fees for these people? When they were arresting them, police knew for sure that they, are not, they had not committed this offense, but they went ahead and arrested them. I condemned that arrest in no and strongest terms. I am a victim of arrests, countrymen and women. Victim of arrests. I had 39 counts in one court and another 11 counts in different courts, trumped up charges, just to try and arrest me, put me in detention, and I went to, to prison for one of the 11 cases. I was sent to prison for not committing an offense at all, but because people just wanted me behind bars. I was charged for a forgery case that I never did, and ended up in uh, prison for over 17 days before I left. Now, countrymen and women, after giving you this analog of things that used to happen in the previous administration, are we ready as Zambians to continue supporting illegalities and continue arresting people who have not committed offenses, capital offenses as it were? For instance, Honorable Mumbipiri has this morning been charged, arrested and charged for murder of Lawrence Banda during the Kaoma by elections. We all know, including the president, knows that yes, Mumbipiri might have been there. I don't have the facts whether she was there or not. But we all know that she might have been there. But she's not the person who killed Lawrence Banner. She's not the person who pulled the trigger to kill our brother, 
Lawrence Banda, in cold blood, the death that I condemned in no strongest terms. Just as much as I'm condemning the arrest and charging Mumbi Piri with murder, when we all know, we are all convinced beyond reasonable doubt, as I'm going to demonstrate, that Mumbi Piri never killed Lawrence Banda. But today, Mumbi Piri has been arrested and charged with murder. Because the system knows, the government knows that when you are charged with murder, it's not bearable. You have to rot in prison, like Mwari Teta rotted in prison, like my dear brother, Honorable for the Copper Belt, spent one year in prison. Now, is this what we want as Zambians? That every government that comes must be using the police to settle scores, must be using the police for the tribulation, must be using the police to revenge for what they went through. This is unacceptable. And I think I'm calling upon the international community, the church, and all the NGOs to condemn the arrest of Mumbi Piri for murder. Because we all know that Mumbi Piri did not murder Lawrence Banda. May Lawrence Banda so rest in peace. And I'll demonstrate here. President Aga Inde Ichilema, where is my phone? But I was preparing the phone to keep here to use. You take it out. I'm sorry. You forgive me. You saw when I came, I said, I'm preparing a video. I don't know why the phone was taken away. There is a video here of His Excellency, President Haga in the EGM, during the burial of Lawrence Banda. And this is what our president said. Just give me a moment so that I can play this video. It's taking too long to load. Just bear with me. I want to follow a phone, but you show me, huh?